Hi, I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, wow. moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Why are some sounds high and, and other sounds low? <clears throat> that high-low sound is something called pitch. Pretend this is air, then this is sound. Sound travels in waves of compressions through the air. Pitch is a measure of how many sound waves pass a point, like this one here, in one second. Because sound travels at the same speed, the wavelength, literally the length of a wave, determines pitch. Sounds with long wavelengths pass the point less often, so you have a lower pitch. But sounds with a short wavelength pass the point more often, so they have a higher pitch. Let me show it to you a different way. Flatten one end of the straw. Cut the corner off each flattened side about half an inch down to create two flaps. To make the sound, place the oboe in your mouth with the flaps on the top and bottom. Tighten your lips together and then blow. It can take a few tries to get the hang of it. A straw oboe is a tube instrument, which means its wavelength is related to its length. In other words, a long tube has a longer wavelength and therefore a lower pitch. But a shorter tube has a shorter wavelength and a higher pitch. What do you think would happen if we attach two of these straws together or got one of those really big wide straws that you see at fast food restaurants? Why are you still looking at me? Go find out for yourself. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.